So just to give you an idea, this is the bubble cannon. I don't want to take up a lot of time today because as Aziz was saying, I'm hungry too. So what we have here is an example of the content that gets created through this technology. Uh, it captures 720p video at 30 frames per second, 1080p video at 15 frames per second. It also captures 14 megapixel photos. And what it is, is the world's first spherical camera. And it captures all of its content with zero blind spots. The differentiator between that and everything else is usually you get a camera that, or spherical content that has huge holes on the bottom and, or you can't pan up and down. And when we start talk, looking at virtual reality, we really want to be able to see everything. Uh, the world today is made up of spherical content. And you have to forgive this video, this is a camera recording a screen, so the actual experience on your mobile device or on your desktop is quite a bit better. And I can demonstrate that later. One thing we also are able to do is, it's lightweight. So when we start looking at what other potential use cases, the consumer world was originally our first use case, and you can see a lot of that here. But what we're not really allowed to show just now is the use cases we get in uh, my, uh, mining, in real estate, uh, in utility space. We also get a lot of, a lot of interest in uh, aerospace and uh, well, space technology. We have a good partner in NASA and in Google. And you'll start to see that we can create this content very, very quickly and easily. When you look at the, the workflow created by spherical technology today, it's rather, relatively difficult. The rigs are very expensive. The, the software in order to stitch the content is very difficult to use and you have to be somewhat of a professional. Today, the cameras cost about $800 and the content, I mean, well, the software related in order to create that content for your mobile device or for your desktop is offered for free. It's very simple to use. In fact, while we're doing this, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take a picture right now. So if I can get everyone to just say cheese in five, four, Three, two, one, cheese. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have a, I don't have a cable to connect it, so you're gonna have to come see me, but. <laughs> you, can you can download the content directly from the camera to your mobile device. And we have software that's in the App Store right now, so you can go to your Apple App Store or to the Android Store and download the Bubble Explorer app, which gives you an example of the feed. Uh, Following this, when the camera comes out at the end of the month, you'll be able to download the camera control app as well. And that will allow you to, if you will, decide to purchase bubble cam. Um, although we're sold out right now, we will have more available starting from September. Um, we've about, sold about 10,000 devices so far, so which was a lot more than we thought we were gonna sell coming out of Kickstarter in November. Uh, that was, things have happened a lot too quickly for us, but the goal for us is to introduce this technology and showcase, well, the VR world is just beginning, and we're just beginning with creating technology that's going to be able to take advantage of it, or showcase to you how you can take advantage of it. One thing that we find is very interesting is every time we demonstrate this technology, someone has a new way to use it. We have no idea all of the different ways that people are going to be able to take advantage of this technology, and our goal is to provide it for you in a, so in a simple and easy way for you to start introducing how you would use it. The VR world is something very interesting to us and hopefully we can help expand it all together. If you want, I'll be at the back of the room or I'll be outside, I like coffee and scotch. Um, we could always hang out and I can showcase exactly what this camera does through a demo. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Sean. No Questions for Sean. Um, it looks awesome, but I'm just wondering if you're working on a 2 or 4K version, because to get, um, you know, like a 720 or 1080 field of view, mm. you really need that for the 360. So right now, the camera, right, well, actually, through marketing, most people like to say that it's like a 2K or 4K video. So actually, we do capture a 2K video altogether, but the view space that you're actually looking at when you look at spherical content, because you can only look at a scenario, uh, right now is either 720p or 1080p. So we're actually at capturing a 2K video altogether. Uh, so your panoramic or oh, your echo rectangular that you're going to capture uh, on photos are about 5,000 by 3,000. On videos are about three, well 2,000 2,000 by 1,000. 1, it's actually a yeah, two to one. Cool. Although 
Uh, next year we are going to be hopefully launching a, uh, another version of the camera uh, that will actually provide you with a view space that's closer to 2K, 4K. Does it currently support um, HDR lighting or do you plan on that? Uh, yes, it does. Actually, uh, it supports HDR for photos. Our future versions are looking to support HDR for videos. And if you want, I can give a demonstration how that works as well. It does take a little longer because it does capture, well, it depends on your f-stops that you want to create. And we provide through the app, uh, you can choose how many levels you want to go up. If you want to go up three stops, two stops, one and a half, it's up to you. Any other questions for Sean? Well, thank you very much, Sean. Great.